at least 20% of income earners in Kenya would opt for a home with 30% of green space, solar generated power and 70% of open spaces. Green Heart of Kenya CEO Gordon Loki says uh, inquiries and bookings by investors point to areas out of town and preferably secluded locations. Real estate investments are perceived as long-term and can be used as collaterals for loans. A study by Greenheart of Kenya establishes that many Kenyans would prefer to settle for investments out of town with 20% of them being income earners. It's really been driven a huge amount since COVID. People have been looking for more space, again, from all backgrounds, um, wanting to move out of the urban areas into an area where they can have a better way of life for their for their family, for their children, and more access to the natural environment. Loki says the uptake of affordable housing has been tremendous in secluded areas such as Cliffy County owing to the greenery and free space for homes on sale. So we have 70% green space and 30% of built environment. So, you know, if you want a good way of life, if you want also cheap utility bills, um, uh, and if you want good access to the natural environment, we're the best place. What many developments and Green Heart of Kenya is doing at the moment is trying to involve the communities, creating opportunities in terms of employment, ensuring that the communities can have their ecosystems restored, and you know, trying to ensure that uh, their natural um, way of living is not disrupted by the projects they are doing. According to Gordon, the increasing cost of living could affect the uptake of affordable homes owing to higher cost of building materials and labor. Irene Mchuma Odim, The Lunchtime News.